But the law that set up uh, the uh, secretariat, um, which group of people are you supposed to target? I'm asking this question because a lot of concerns have come up regarding the way uh, scholarships are being issued. Uh, some believe that you, under your watch, you, you've been uh, issuing scholarship to uh, politicians, uh, close allies, those uh, with connection to the top, and those needy but deserving students have been left out. What is <coughs> the main focus of the uh, scholarship secretariat? Okay, so you asked about an establishment act. Mm. I'm mean, sorry to say that there's no establishment act for, for, the, uh, for the scholarship secretariat. It's been, a, it's been an issue, one of the key things that I think needs public uh, discussions. If I'm fortunate to go to so, parliament. So, so that leaves you to just do whatever you feel like doing? Oh, everything ha has to be done in tandem with reasonability. Mm, discretion? Yeah, maybe, largely, because, um, because there's no enabling act. So questions or issues like, uh, why do you give people to go and train outside when there are similar courses here? I mean, those are very oversimplified questions just to cut public sympathy. In Ghana, who we usually refer to as the middle income NS are public sector workers. Mm -hmm. Public sector workers or civil servants yeah. or people of your... You cry, you be a high income No, owner. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the question you ask is, public sector workers or those that we are defining as uh, middle income earners, mm. do they, are they really middle income earners in tandem with best practices or best economic conditions? Okay. Civil servants are largely paid between $100 and uh, let's say $300. And we call that one as middle income. So to you, the point is that even civil servants, they fall within the category of, of people who really need this support. Of course. Every Ghanaian, except the high earners, mm. which most of the time, it is very difficult to. So, so who are those that you classify as the high earners? Because we have seen list of MPs, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. ministers of state, also benefiting from this uh, uh, funding. And so do they also fall under that uh, same category? So... We need to put in perspective, we need to put in perspective rightly okay. who, who, who these needy people are and how do we determine need. I, I remember going through my orientation program. That was the first question I asked. That is this thing that needy by brilliant, needy by brilliant. Who is a needy person? How do you guys assess who a needy person is? Do you use some kind of voodooism to, <laughs> to, 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 you know, uh, ascertain this thing? So the first thing I did was to work opposition the secretariat towards a decentralized process. Okay. Because for me, that is more rigorous than me sitting in Accra or the secretariat sitting in Accra to determine the need of somebody at uh, Akokwaso. Beyond that initiative, is there any outline by the secretariat to determine who a needy person is? We have, we have not used any mechanism yet mm. because we are yet to get one. There's been reports or suggestions of, you know, asking people link link up with Ghana Card and uh, do what they are what they are what they are, what they are suggesting. I put in the perspective of self-reporting, mm. but let's not behave like all strangers. People can have multiple bank accounts in Ghana here. And if you do, if you want to do a bit of a financial scholarship underwriting, me knowing that I want to take advantage of the system, will not present. You to the secretariat, a bank, a a bank statement mm. that will, <laughs> that will show that, will reflect that I'm yeah. so comfortable and we don't need the scholarship. Okay. So that, that is not being So there. how do we cure that? The fact that people are taking advantage of non-existent regulation to specifically target those who really need it. Having been there for the past seven years, how do we cure that? So, so looking into the future, I think a scholarship legislation is so eminent. And uh, that will set out everything that we need to do or how the funds need to be managed. Okay. It's been managed over the years by the dexterity of leaders, what they think are so important. So in, 
in, in conjunction with maybe National Development Planning Commission, NDPC, mm. to really identify priority areas that as, as Ghanaians we need to. Mm.